So uh, they told us that we should start by a question and then a story. So I'm going to follow this path. <laughs> uh, can you show your hand if, um, if you've ever been influenced by something you've watched, like a media, film, a movie? Awesome. OK. I have. Uh, when I was five years old, and here the story begins. So when I was five years old, uh, my father had my sisters and me watch the movie Empire of the Sun. You know this movie by Steven Spielberg and the very young Christian Bate before he becomes Batman? OK. So it was a very family night with pizza and everything. I was five years old. And uh, he wanted to teach us a lesson by watching this movie. He did this a lot. He used movies, uh, TV shows, uh, songs to as educational tools, right? So what did I learn from the movie Empire of the Sun? I learned to hate wars, to hate violence. I learned that uh, even in the span of one day, uh, you can lose everything. I learned to treat people with the most respect. But I also learned how impactful media can be. Because I, I mean, till this moment, uh, I still remember the scene where Jim, the young Christian Bale, gets slapped by his maid. The same maid he slapped before, the same one who treated uh, with, in the most inhuman way uh, over the years. So as you can see, I grew up critically engaging with all kinds of media. But I never saw myself as someone working in the field. Um, until maybe in my last year of engineering school, uh, it was late 2010. We all know what comes in 2011, so yeah, it was late 2010. We wanted to promote a student organization we co-founded, so we decided to do a music video. I don't know why, but we decided to do a music video. It was a rap song. But then uh, it was before our graduation, and we started to question our prospects. Some felt afraid, some were hopeful, some wanted to leave, some felt despair, so we decided I mean, it was a very surreal time, as I said. We knew that something was brewing, but we couldn't put our hands on it. So we decided to do another music video. It was called uh, Writing Tomorrow a Letter. It was addressed to the future with all these questions and concerns. It was released on the 23rd of January, 2011. We thought it was going to get like 2,000, 5,000, maybe 10,000 views, because YouTube was not famous back then, so like the States here. But we got overnight like 90,000 views, then 100, 110, 120, and kept just getting more views. So yeah, it was a paradigm shift in my life because I created something that affected others. That's when I decided with my friends to give up a lofty career in petroleum engineering and start our own media production company. And after, I mean, x Studio, it grew out of our own experiences, our dreams, our aspirations. And as our team grew, so did our productions. We started to not limit ourselves to music videos. We started doing short films, documentaries, docudramas. We tried to find the best suitable way to address a certain message. And the message is, well, I mean, it's a broad message. We try to impact society. We try to tackle societal issues. We try to make a difference using our productions. So we tackled sexual harassment, gender equality, women empowerment, drug abuse, child labor. We're working on a, on a, uh, a documentary about global warming. Basically, we try to do everything and every issue we face, we try to tackle it with a music video. Uh, I think I'm going to show you one now. It's a music video. Uh, it was our la last political music video we did. It was in 2014. The, uh, it was during the elections. And, uh, and yeah, I'm going to show it now. So the lights, merci.
حدود الفكر والتفكير في الحقيقه ملكي بس ملكي مش مساعد ان حدودي تكفي تسند ضعف عزمي والاصل حلمي تحمي فضل تعافر في صمتي ابني في حيطان مدينتي بس ياسي من علام كخنجر كان في صدري جرح بكره المضمون من ساعة الياس خلى املي في الحياه طاقه كد بالعكس تكشف كل سلب وتسلب كل حق تعفي نفسي من نضال والصراخ بلا اختياري لاختيار وعد واتفاق اني امضي على الضمانه واحلف بالولاء اسف مش هساعد اكل حل باعد اقتل كل شاهد كان الثوره واعد الخروج عن المضمون فكره مش مالوفه والمالوف للعقول فكره كانت موصوفه تحجم كل جامح تربط كل حي تمحي من قاموس حياتك اللي بكره جاي جاي غصب عني لو هتكون معايا كذبه واضحه من البدايه وعايشه للنهايه انت عكس فعلي انت كل ماضي انت راضي الحقوق تضيع وتبقى عادي فرق العمر والتفكير بين الجيل الحر زي حبك للحياه واختيار المر احنا جيل يحاول احنا جيل يغير وانتوا جيل في الحريه عمره كان قصير سرق الامل منا واللي بيشكي يموت كده او كده ميت فاصرخ بعلو الصوت كل الشوارع لينا والثوره للثوار والحب لو يسكت يبقى ملاه العار طال الفرق بينا احنا بينا شق جيل بيرفض السكوت الخلاصه لا لا لكل صمت لا لكل خوف لا بتلعن اختيارك وتنكر الظروف لا تصبر اللي خايف حتى صبرتان لا تكسر الحصون حتى لو جبال سقط رغم حجمك مهما انك تكون احنا نور الحي في عدمه الظنون احنا نور الحي في عدمه الظنون اوكي سو So that was one of our productions. It, uh, it was talking, as you can see, I don't know if you understood or not, was talking about the political uh, situation in Egypt back then and right now and in like 30 years in the future, I guess. Um, <coughs> but I mean, is it working? Yeah. I mean, as, as, I, as I was saying, we try to tackle everything. And uh, I guess I can say that after uh, five years, uh, I still don't regret this decision of giving up my engineering uh, career and focusing on this company uh, because in the past five years we've been receiving overwhelming emails, messages, tweets, comments from so many different people just telling us how our productions affected them. Like, very heartwarming. And for us, it was somehow when you read one of these messages, it just clears out all the stress, all the pressure, or I mean the pressure. Uh, I, can, I guess anyone who worked on their own business idea before understands the word pressure. It's insane, the pressure, yeah. Um, but then we ask ourselves another question. So can we somehow mix education with media? And the answer was yes. So we decided to launch a subsidiary company from Axir Studio which is called Giraffics. We, by the way, we just launched, we've been working like for six months, but we just launched Giraffics yesterday. And our ver first episode, it's today, actually. So Giraffics works in data visualization information design because we thought that what if knowledge, you can present knowledge in a very um, cool way, easy, um, inspirational, and fun. So we started by doing infographic videos. Infographic videos, to explain it in this way I just described it right now. And thus, we're trying to make knowledge accessible to everyone. Uh, so I guess I'm almost over. I'm just trying to say that <coughs> right now, uh, with uh, a round of two companies, uh, it's not a multi-billion dollar company. It's just a multi-million dollar. I'm uh, just kidding. I don't have money still. <coughs> But I guess that even now, I'm still somehow worried about the future, about the past, uh, my journey and Axie's journey will be. Uh, what are we going to do in the future? But <coughs> if I'm sure of one thing, I guess it's maybe uh, I just want to make a difference. And right now, we're trying to use media to impact society. So thank you. <laughs>